everyone welcome or welcome back to my channel hope you're doing well so today i'll be talking about moon in the sign of cancer a moon in first house for cancer ascendant before discussing about moon signs or moon in different houses we need to understand the moon and its significance i've already made a short video on that so please watch it okay so let's begin with today's video now cancer for you moon rules your ascendant and it is placed in the ascendant itself so whenever ascendant lord is placed in the ascendant it is generally considered good as it increases the strength of the lagna so this is supposed to be an excellent placement right um not really moon and cancer both are water elements extremely sensitive emotional and gentle nature that ebbs and flows and absorbs the environment around it there is no stability to hold so much of water moon in cancer is such an emotional placement here your emotions are unbalanced you absorb the energies and feel it to the depth everything is felt with the heart and there is no logic involved unless other placement so you're an emotionally intuitively driven person your decisions and actions and choices are made because you feel good about it not because it is practical and right you can also have many mood swings there can be some emotional trauma or some personal uh, emotional ups and downs in your early life the thing with moon is you react to situations and not respond gradually with time you do learn to manage your emotions but in the early life it becomes very difficult for you to deal with life on an emotional level it is difficult for you to accept that you are wrong like you cannot accept criticism constructively because like i said you react and not respond okay there is a huge difference in this basically the social media is full of these people who are too quick to judge too quick to make fun too quick to react because we have somehow moved past a life that had depth substance and tranquility we are constantly chasing something trying to impress when success truly is about being happy healthy and at peace in your life right also you you do have a hard time dealing in public because people don't understand your sensitive side you are the people who are pure at heart but you get hurt over little things so others find it difficult to put up with you sometimes it can also be that you get hurt so deeply that you become self critical and depressed see moon when alone doesn't matter in any sign except earth signs it is not capable enough to see through things correctly so it becomes easy to influence you moon being mind and sitting in the ascendant your body so there is high probability of you dealing with psychosomatic diseases and moon being fluctuations your health can fluctuate meaning one day you can be all right and the other day you can be sick there can be kapha related problems as well like cold cough okay problems moon also shows our concern so here it shows you are always concerned about your physical self your appearance your weight mother emotions home and security moon is mother nourishment and healing you love your mother deeply but you can suffer because of your mother the mother can also be an emotional person and she can be through lot of emotional ups and downs in her life that can have a huge impact on you there can also be an urge to be the man of your house irrespective of your gender like it is your duty to do this okay duty for your family you're not doing out of your heart but you're doing out of uh, out of the uh, understanding of duty and responsibility because now motherly instincts of providing and protecting are supercharged but in watery signs not in earth signs where it finds some balance so even if you are in an abusive or an unhappy marriage yet you will want to take care of your family help them protect them provide for them because there is this thing in your head that you must do this like some of the rituals that our elders are so strict about not that traditions are a bad thing but not every ritual is supposed to be done just because it has been going on for years right most of the times the problems and stress can be due to family finances and home you can have too many ups and downs in your career or lack of stability and growth in your career 
you can be chubby you can be fair in your appearance and your weight can change often you're very compassionate towards others and this can make you great healers and most of you can also be associated in these professions the spouse can be a working person okay or a workaholic person and can be quite cold towards you like you sometimes feel that you don't know your partner okay your partner acts um as a stranger one day and while uh, you know sometimes you feel that no he or she loves me okay so there is this um change in the behavior of your spouse and in some cases your partner will control you okay most of the times with this placement it is advisable to not take any decision individually you will regret later and i'm not saying you are dumb but emotionally driven decisions are not every time the best and correct decisions okay yes you should uh, pay attention to your heart okay listen to your heart but also think logically and practically okay uh, because firstly see moon in cancer doesn't have any practical aspect and secondly if moon is alone meaning without any conjunction without any influence of other planets then it can be easily brainwashed manipulated and persuaded doesn't matter in any sign okay so it is important to take advice of people who love you not those who whom you trust okay who love you who have genuine intentions for you and not those people whom you trust okay because you you may not have that clarity okay of uh, whom to trust and not trust so it is better to take advice of people who love you okay now let's look at the positives okay now positives and what you should treasure about this placement your human nature that includes kindness warm heartedness empathy purity creativity compassion sensitivity and loyalty your nature of not doing anything half heartedly your decisions and choices driven by your intuition most of the times we ignore our inner voice it is okay to feel deeply to care nourish and nurture others sometimes all we need is someone to accept love and care and that's you as a part vulnerability isn't weakness but it is strength but you need the right person for that who can travel the deepest corners of your heart and understand them okay negatives and what you need to work on and discard the urge to give away or forgive others at the cost of your own damage the inability to accept yourself as human who can make mistakes the inability to question others their motives rather than just accept their word and the uh, or uh, you know accept them at face value inability to be balanced in emotions and attachment understand people don't reflect us you are different and so the people around you can be different with different nature and needs it is okay to be wrong and imperfect first put your mind at rest focus on the moment meditate take one day at a time that will help your restlessness to balance then accept that what you want may not be the same as what other wants stop being obligated to be a caretaker of people around you stop being so much emotionally invested in other people emotionally attached to other people that other people find you clingy okay it is not your responsibility unless they are your close people and they need you they ask you that i need help you don't need to be a caretaker of people around you okay it's very important not to take decision or action without asking your loved ones or some logical wise person before moving ahead with it as there is lack of clarity and ability to see things logically sometimes it is important to take a stand for yourself and detach yourself from people and not to invest too much anything in extreme even love is um has dangerous consequences okay all right that's all for today until we meet next time take care